Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again. Thought I'd do another hopefully helpful quick video on a uh, method that I use to uh, keep my paracord in check when I'm uh, not using it or if I just need a hank of it to uh, throw in a bag or something like that. How I keep it from getting all tangled up and and uh, the knot that as far as I know I invented it. I've never seen it in a in a book or anything. Um, it's real similar to other knots which is how knots get invented I think is somebody looks at a knot and sees a way to improve it which is kind of what I feel like I've done here <coughs> so basically what this is is it's just a it's just a hank of cord it's not actual real paracord um, to mill spec anyway but this is the end and this is the end that I started tying it with and a and, uh, good thing about this particular setup here is if you just need a short piece of this cord you can get the end that's tied under the wrap here and pull it out and you can get yourself a maybe a six foot hunk of cord or so if you like and that loosens up this knot here a little bit but if you only take out about six feet or so depending on how big how much rope is in here or cord is in here to begin with usually you don't have to worry about it too much but you can tell if this thing is too loose or not by um, how squishy it gets after you've taken some rope out so if that was as much cord as I wanted I'd just cut it off here and then seal the ends and and uh, I've still got a usable hunk of cord here that's already all tied up now um, another great thing about this particular type of uh, wrap here is that if you um, want to take the whole thing apart for any reason it's real easy there's no knots to untie per se you just pull pull on the, uh, the the end that was wrapped around your coil this way you just pull on it and it comes apart without having to untie anything and then if you want to uh, unwrap the whole thing let me this is the end that I pulled out to begin with for the demonstration let me just kind of wrap that up in there a little bit it's real easy to uh, get the whole coil unwound really quickly without any tangles normally you just hold the end that came off there and then take it I'm still in my hotel room so forgive the kind of primitive equipment and then you just take your cord and you just chuck it and you can see that uh, my cord has all come out in pretty much one untangled piece there and uh, the way you roll it up is really easy you just simply take your cord drape it over your thumb so that the uh, loose end hangs down to about your pinky or so and then kind of pinch this end here pinch this end here between your thumb and forefinger so that it doesn't come loose when you while you're starting it wrap this guy around your pinky and do a figure eight pattern see how I'm going around figure eight pattern and you just keep doing that until your cord is all wound up I'd like you to see this part of the part of the rope while I'm doing it too see how it's all just coming apart real nice like here comes a little chunk of it usually it all just kind of comes apart as it's coming to you and this is good for it depends kind of on how big your hand is how much you can wrap between your fingers here uh... maybe 35 40 feet i've done a hundred feet but it starts to get kind of uncomfortable and it doesn't really come apart as well and just keep doing that this rope is see the whole thing has come up without any any tangles in it at all and so now I've got this figure eight type wrap here and maybe I don't know uh, three or four feet maybe well two and a half three feet of cord I'm going to take another loop off just so I have a little bit more to work with to show you guys how this other part works so then just kind of grab the whole thing with your other hand and pull it off and you see the end that you started with that was pointing at your pinky to begin with down here make sure that's kind of in the middle of the knot you want to get, be sure and get that tied down and when you start this 
um, coil finishing technique, you want to make sure that you've got the end pointing uh, of the string that you're going to that you're going to work with that you wrap it. So just wrap your string around. See how I wrapped over the piece that's coming this way? You could do it from the other direction if you wanted to, but then you just have to make sure that if the rope is pointing this way that you wrap it back on itself. Okay? So wrap it back on itself. about three times or so and then give it a nice hard pull get it tight and then every couple of times you wrap it around pull it down tight nice and tight sorry I know a lot of this is not getting in the video I'm actually just kinda of got the camera on a cord around my neck right now so every couple of times you wrap it just pull it tight around twice pull it tight around twice Pull it twi tight, and then when you've got enough cord left over that's about two wraps, that would be about two wraps around your coil there, then just take that much is what you need to finish it with. So I'm going to say that's one, two wraps, and what you do is you take a couple of fingers or a finger, depending on the size of your coil and your cord, and use that to give yourself a little bit of slack, and then when you come back up to your fingers again, put the cord between your fingers and then pull it through so basically you just took a little piece of rope or cord and looped it under the last wrap okay so then you take the end and that loop that you looped under your last wrap and pull it tight and then you pull it <laughs> and then you pull, I was pulling on the wrong one I'm trying to do too many things at once so you just pull it tight and if you look at that there you can tell that it's basically just this wrap here goes under the last wrap before and this makes a real solid you see that's not going to come off of there that's on there solid and once again to get it to come loose I'm going to show you this one more time up here where you can probably see it a little better let's move the whole project back up here again so when you want to uh, take your cord and get some get some cord or unwrap the whole thing you just pull the one end and unwrap it like this and when you want to tighten it back up wrap the whole thing up like that get yourself about two lengths of wrap under it get a finger or two under there see I just got two fingers underneath my last loop bring your finger put that there use those fingers pinch those fingers together underneath the cord there use that to pull a little loop under your last coil around the rope and then pull the end and the loop back to tighten it up and you'll still have a little bit of slack sticking out there but as long as your your rope is tight here all you have to do is just kind of pull on it a little bit and there you go real simple easy way to keep your cord uh, nice and neat in your cord bag or however it is that you keep your cord and an easy way to get a little bit of length off of it if you need to and to unroll the whole thing without tangles if that's necessary so hope you find this useful um, feel free to leave some comments or questions or anybody wanting any more tips or hints about things that they work with paracord I see a lot of tutorials out there for people that use paracord to do all kinds of um, projects and whatnot but I don't see a lot of stuff about people doing things the more intangible um, parts of how to work with paracord so if you have any ideas or thoughts about stuff where you've, you've uh, run into troubles or had problems with paracord let me know I'm planning on doing another video on how to finish the ends like how to singe these ends to keep the cord from unraveling and uh, uh, how to quick 
field expedient, quote unquote, ways to measure paracord quickly. If you want to know how uh, much paracord you need to work with, how to guesstimate project lengths of paracord and stuff like that. So uh, keep tuned uh, for that and thanks for watching.